The half dollar denomination was a workhorse coin being spent in commerce regularly since its inception back in 1794. Today, half dollars aren't generally used in commerce, but they are still produced by the mint, and they are some of the most popularly collected coins among numismatists. Today, I'd like to take a look at some of the most popular half dollars ever created, beginning in the first half of the 20th century. The first coin today that I want to talk about is the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, which was minted from 1916 to 1947. This was one of the final coins produced during the era we know as the Renaissance of American coinage, a period of time in the early 1900s that saw the redesigning of every circulating coin by a famous artist of the day. In 1916, the mint director strongly desired a new half dollar design, but was unimpressed with the designs provided by the engravers at the US Mint. To find a more artistic design, a competition was held, and the most renowned sculptors of the day were invited to participate. And Adolf Weinmann's Walking Liberty was selected. Ever since its production began, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar has earned its reputation as one of the most beautiful coins ever produced in US history. With a mintage that spanned World War I, World War II, and the Great Depression, this coin design has become a symbol of America's perseverance and ability to succeed, even in the face of despair. By 1947, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar design had passed its 25-year mandate, and Mint Director Nellie Taylor Ross sought to create a new design. Ross had always idolized our country's founding father, Benjamin Franklin. After all, Franklin's importance to the U.S. can't be understated, as he signed the Declaration of Independence, helped draft the Constitution, and ultimately ended the Revolutionary War by signing the Treaty of Paris. And so, to honor Benjamin Franklin, Ross set plans in motion to place his likeness on the half dollar. Designed by John Sinnock, minting of the Franklin half dollar took place from 1948 to 1963 before being replaced. Generally, coins aren't able to have a design change unless they reach their 25-year mandate. However, due to the tragic assassination of our 35th president, John F. Kennedy, on November 22, 1963, the Franklin Half Dollars Mintage only lasted for 15 years. Hours after the assassination, Mint Director Eva Adams began initiating plans to commemorate our fallen president on a U.S. coin. Initially, the Mint had plans to place President Kennedy on the quarter, but out of respect for George Washington, Jacqueline Kennedy requested that JFK be placed on the half dollar instead. A month later, on December 30th, 1963, Congress authorized the bill that would put the Kennedy half dollar into production. Although this bill meant the production of the Franklin half dollar series would have to be cut from 25 years of mintage just to 15, Congress unanimously passed the legislation. The new coin was designed with an obverse by Gilroy Roberts and reverse by Frank Gasparro. Ever since its release in 1964, the Kennedy half dollar has become a staple of numismatic collections across the country. Even today, this iconic coin is still produced to honor our charismatic 35th president of the United States. Although the half dollar is no longer commonly seen in commerce, it is easily among the most popularly collected denominations among numismatists today. From the Walking Liberty Half Dollar in 1916 to the Kennedy Half Dollar of today, these stunning coins are the heart of so many coin collections. <laughs>